assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all the viewers and listeners i hope you all are in good health so my dear students it's a time to discuss some poetry today so we are going to start a very interesting poem tobacco pickers that is written by kushu raisin and this poem is given at oxford and international prose books page number 88 you can find it so i request you all please open the books so that you may keep the text in front of you meanwhile the learning objective of this poem is to be able to understand the use of hyphens in the poem so we are going to know about how hyphens uh, how hyphens have been used in the poem by the poet kosho raisin so let's move forward here you can see the poem the original text of the poem in front of you so i'll Uh, recite the poem first then we will we will discuss each and every stanza in detail uh, in fact we are going to do the critical analysis of the poem uh, yes the first stanza is bronze stones and gold scales but they'll never weigh our tobacco bane our salt sweat from night blurred summer day breaks to god forsaken winter lighter tobacco drinks our pain sweat blood and strength our face is thin and a bronze weight sits sits cold on our hearts first light dew wet we are there bent double in our home fields automatic picker leaf leaf pick leaf leaf tie leaf leaf turn over push down leaf leaf spread patient sat on long sweat bed strings rage and hope and hate milk blind eyes stare at leaves leaves pipped bronze the hard pages of an unlucky life tie next tie next quiet necessary now you know it's way up day no scales will do it this bane pushes on and on into the heart nothing can balance it not sadness but rage and into our milk blind eyes its storm wells up the scales hold bronze leaves and in our hearts rage the great storms of bronze sadness bronze tobacco bronze salt sweat from our hands so this was the original text of the poem now in front of your screen you can see there are some tobacco pickers people are working in the fields and all these people all these people are slaves actually so this whole poem is talking about the slavery the hardships and the difficulties that slaves used to suffer in previous times and yes you can see many slaves are working in one field and on the right side you can see they are also uh, loading loading their products loading their uh, what they have picked they are loading on the horse and on one horse you can see a person with a hat so it seems that this person is the owner of this field who is taking work from all the slaves and as we know very well that hard labor is a fact of life for many people who work the land um, They, they work the land often struggling to feed themselves and their family basically they are working to feed themselves and feed their family and they are working on the very low costs and still they are working still they are suffering a lot just to feed their families uh, oppressed people they are very oppressed people throughout history have been suffered under under the hands of cruel masters and employers often it is the goods and artifacts left that old industrial equipment and landscapes that remind us of the suffering of workers of the past basically this poem the title of this poem is tobacco picker so there are two interpretations of this poem the first one is the people who pick pick the tobacco from the fields the other the other interpret, interpretation of this title is the uh, the scale or the balance or the weight where this tobacco is measured this tobacco is weighed so uh, we can see 
we can see from the goods and from the industrial equipments and landscapes that uh, we can see these things and these things remind us of the suffering of the workers of the past these things remind us of the suffering of the slaves of the past basically this time is not of slavery uh, there was a time when slavery was so common in the whole world and all the slaves were so oppressed by their employers or by, uh, by their employers or by their owners or by their masters so this poem is actually talking about the sufferings of the of the people of the past suffering of the slaves now we will we will have the detailed analysis of stanza 1 stanza 1 is bronze stones and cold scales bronze stones means the the equipment that is used to measure the weight of the the weight of the you may say of the tobacco bronze stone stone are the weights that are used on the scales to measure the weight of tobacco bronze stone basically this is bronze is a metal so here it is used as adjectives bronze stones and cold scale here again adjective is used but they'll never weigh our tobacco bane like there are the scales and the scales are you may say the scales are being used to measure the weight of those things of of those of uh, of the tobacco but those scales are not going to measure the weight of the tobacco bane tobacco bane means the uh, the poison that they inhale while picking up tobacco the poison that the slaves inhale the poison that is inside the blood of the that is in the blood of the of the slaves while picking up the tobacco so that poison cannot be weighed by the bronze stones and cold scale and yes our salt sweat means the salt sweat even their sweat have been even their sweat have become salty just because of working in the tobacco fields so here you can see many adjectives are used here so this poem is full of adjectives and yes here you can see one hyphen is also used are tobacco tobacco bane tobacco and bane are two different words and these two words are joined together by the use of this hyphen so the, this this becomes the word tobacco bane talking about analysis of stanza 2 so from night blurred summer day breaks they start working they start working uh, from dawn even they don't bother whether it is summer or whether it's winter they start working even before the start of the morning they start working even when there is a little bit bit darkness on the sky but they are supposed to work because they are oppressed from night blurred summer day breaks to god forsaken winter light deaths means don't bother whether it's winter or summer they keep on working from dawn to dusk tobacco drinks are pain sweat blood and strength they they work so hard that tobacco picking have drunk their pain their sweat their blood and strength means they have put their blood they have put their sweat they have put their strength pain each and everything they have put just to earn more and more money and just to uh, just to have a better weight of tobacco than the previous than the earlier or than the previous one our face is thin and a bronze weight sits cold on our hearts their faces have become thin but the bronze weight sits cold on our hearts means the bronze weight does not move at all even they pick so much tobacco but even even then the weight of the tobacco does not increase the weight remains the same and if the weight remains the same or if the weight remains less it means they are going to get less payment they are going to they are going to get less salary so the, the tobacco picking or in other words you can say the slavery have taken the sweat blood strength pain they have become thin by working hard by struggling hard by by putting great effort in their in their work in their job but still they are earning very less amount next there is a there is a stanza 3 given in front of your screen first light dew wet we are there means as as first light comes on the sky as there is a dew on the plants 
we are there means the slaves are there in the fields so start working in the fields before the dawn even before the sun rises bent double in our home fields means means they put double efforts in their fields to get more and more tobacco and ultimately to get more and more money automatic pickers we are automatic pickers means the slaves are automatic picker they are, they are, the only thing they have to do is to pick the tobacco leaf leaf pick they have to pick leaf after leaf then they have to uh, leaf leaf tie means they have to tie every leaf 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 turn over push down leaf leaf thread means they have to have to choose each and every leaf carefully and then because they have to uh, they have to push down that uh, that uh, tobacco leaf and then they have they, because with tobacco leaf they are supposed to make the thread patient said on long sweat bead string means sweat beads sweat beads is the sweat bead bead is actually a word bead is anything that is shining a very small of round object that shines just like ball a very small ball that shines so bead is a word that shines the poet has used the word sweat bead sweat means the drop of the sweats that falls from their body by working hard in the field so sweet bead string yes he has used the word string string means when the when the drop starts flowing on the body it becomes the shape of string on the body of the workers so means those workers work a lot those workers put their efforts very much even their bodies are their bodies are sweaty all the time but still they keep on working hard next rage and hope and hate milk blind eyes stare at leaves means now now their hearts are full of rage even they have hope and yes they also have hate for their masters rage why they have rage rage means why the why the scales are are not measuring the right quantity of their tobacco why and hope means hope is that one day they will get more money one day their situation would get better and one day they will earn more and hate hate means hate for their masters hate because of their oppressive masters because they because they 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 take so much work but they in return they pay very less to these workers so these th three things are at a time they are suffering they are having these three things at a time and milk blind eyes stare milk blind again a very beautiful word is used there milk blind eyes milk blind eye means it has two meanings milk blind eye means like they have not seen milk for a long time they have not they have not even tasted the milk for a long time their eyes are thirsting for milk you can say but milk blind has also uh, milk blind has another meaning as well milk blind eyes means their eyes have not their their eyes are not white anymore their eyes have become they have become pale because they have worked a lot their eyes have become pale because of overwork and this is how the writer has that's why the writer has said milk blind eyes means their eyes their eyes are not white anymore they have turned into pale because of overwork and those eyes stare at leaves leaves paper brown the hard pages of an unlucky life means they they have unlucky life and those paper browns means tobacco leaves those leaves are those leaves are the hard pages of their life means those leaves are not making the situation better those leaves are not making them earn more and more and because of those leaves they are being oppressed by the cruel masters and they have no other choice to go anywhere else because the situation the situation is same everywhere in the in, in their in the in the areas around them they cannot even leave their job because they are slaves and slaves are not supposed to leave their job uh, until or unless their masters let them free so because their masters have purchased the slaves that's why they they take so much work from the slaves and this poem is truly depicting the situation of the slaves in the past 
tie next tie next quiet necessary now you know means now we have known the situation of the of the slaves because the, the only thing they have to do is to tie they have to tie every leaf they have to tie one bundle of leaf and then next because this is necessary and this is what they have to do because they are slaves so now talking about stanza 4 and 5 it's way up day no scales will do it this bane pushes on and on into the heart means it's way up day no scales will do it this pain means there is no skill in the world that can that can measure the weight of their pain pain means the poison that that they have inside that they have in their blood so no no uh, there is no skill in the world that can measure the weight of that pain pushes on and on into the heart means this poison have have reached our heart it means uh, they have become uh, they, they even it means uh, there is a more effort uh, they have started hating their masters it means uh, there is a rage that is being increased day by day for their masters so because of that pain because of that poison that is this poison is because of the overwork and because of the less salary nothing can balance it Not, there is no there is nothing in the world that can balance the the scale of the of the hate that is being uh, increased in their hearts day by day not sadness but rage means rage rage for their masters rage for the uh, for the scales and into our milk blind eyes it storms well up means now the storms now the storm of hate the storm of rage wells up now the storm of hate is increasing day by day and a day will come when the situation will get better and they will start uh, they will start a revolt against their masters a day is a day is coming when they will show their resistance towards their masters because their masters are much oppressive they are much oppressed the scales hold bronze leaves and in our hearts rage the great storms the scales hold bronze leaves now bronze leaves means tobacco and in our hearts raise the great storm means a great storm is becoming a great storm is raising and the great storm is is increasing it's uh, the great storm is uh, is increasing because in their hearts the storm of rage is being you can say is boosting up in their hearts boosting up and the great uh, the great storms of bronze sadness bronze tobacco bronze salt sweat from our hearts now the poet has used the word bronze to describe everything like, like bronze sadness bronze tobacco bronze salt salt means the bronze stones that are used to measure the measure the tobacco on the scale means because of those light weight bronze stones everything have become uh, everything has become bronze means they have they have bronze stones in their in their subconscious mind subconscious mind mean, means in their mind in their brain and now the hate and rage with their masters is increasing day by day and a day is coming when they will revolt and when they will get freedom because the the, the poet has also used the word hope the hope can be the, the hope they have the hope of better days they have the hope of freedom they have the hope that that one day they are going to get that one day they are going to get rid of their cruel masters and one day they are going to be free so this was the whole uh, analysis of all uh, all stanzas so i hope you have understood it clearly but still if you have any question you can ask in the comment box now some poetic devices have also been used here the first one is alliteration the examples are in in, uh, in front of your screen salt sweat alliteration means uh, a poetic device in uh, that means that two or more than two words in a line are starting with the same consonant sound so here you can see salt sweat both are starting with s sound s s so s is a consonant sound so here this is the example of alliteration then leaf leaf sweat bead strings now you know this is n sound and this is again n sound so these these this is also an example of alliteration then sweat blood and strength 
this word is starting with sir and this word is again starting with sir so that this is also the example of alliteration next you can see the examples of repetition repetition means when one wo one word phrase clause or a whole sentence is 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 being repeated again and again in the in the whole poem so here you can see some words that are repeated in the poem the first one is leaves leaves then leaf leaf tie next tie next bronze sadness bronze tobacco and bronze salt here the word bronze 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 this word is used this, this word is repeated three times in this poem so this is time for some homework now the homework is identify what message the poet is trying to convey in the poem tobacco pickers now you have to find out the the hidden message of why the poet has described the situation of the tobacco pickers as i told you in the start that basically hard labor is a fact of life for many people who work who work the land often struggling to feed themselves and their family and uh, oppressed people throughout history have suffered under the hands of cruel masters and employers so this was the hidden message and you have to uh, you have to you have to elaborate it in your own words and when you are explaining this question you have to keep these points in in your mind there are six points and if you keep these six points in your mind it means it would be quite easier for you to do this question the first point is what should the title describe the description of title as i described in the start what does the title means there are two interpretations of the title that i told you in the start then how many stanzas are there there are almost six stanzas and even while writing the number of stanzas you can also write that how many lines are there in the stanzas okay third point what is the underlined theme what is the underlined theme the underlined theme is the slavery and the the sufferings of the slaves and then ultimately the the struggle for their freedom fourth point is when and where is the poem happening we we don't know that when the poem is happening but yes we can imagine that this poem is happening in the sometimes before in the past when there was when, when the slavery was so common and where means where where is uh, means the place where the poem is happening this is quite clear that this poem is happening in the in the in the fields where where the tobacco pickers are working next point is what type of figurative language is used what type of figurative language is used it means we have to point out where some where the poet has used poetic devices as i told you in start that poet has used a lot of adjectives here and you have to find out the examples of, of adjectives and then you have to quote those uh, examples here in this point as evidences of the point then the examples of repetition and metaphor the example of repetition is is given in the previous slide and this yes here you can see the example of metaphor you can find the example of metaphor from the poem very easily this is given here so that's it from my side today so uh, i hope you have understood all the points very well so best of luck for your homework the next uh, the homework sorry inshallah we will be with you with a new topic with a new energy and excitement so thank you so much allah